Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have my July 2024 TBR video. This is all the books that are to be read by me in the month of July. It is possible some of these books may not make it, some of them may roll over into another month, but I'm hoping I'll get to all of them. I'm usually pretty consistent about getting to all these books. I have Star Trek, Star Wars, fantasy, sci-fi, new releases, old books. I have legal thrillers. I got a lot in this video. So first I'm gonna talk about the only new release that I don't have. There's there's a, a couple new releases I'm reading this month. And the first is uh, uh, the new Star Trek book, Lost to Eternity by Greg Cox. This book uh, comes out in July and I'm a fan of Greg Cox's books. And also uh, I'll be reading this for the Literary Treks podcast uh, over on Trek FM. And so I'm very excited to read that. And that one comes out, I think it's in late July that it, that it releases. So I'll be, I'll be reading it about that time. And then uh, there's a few other new releases that I already have copies of that I'll be reading very soon, including uh, Timothy Zahn's The Icarus Changeling. This is one of the books in his Icarus saga, um, published by Bain Books. Um, uh, I'm very excited because I have enjoyed every single book in this series. I think that Tim is one of the most consistent science fiction writers, one of the best out there, and uh, this series by him is just excellent. I'm really excited to keep reading in this series. So that's that. I also uh, plan to read the new release book, Rhymer Hood, by uh, Gregory Frost. This is the second book in the Rhymer trilogy. I actually read the first book in the Rhymer trilogy last year and reviewed it on the channel. I quite enjoyed it. And uh, the second book promises to have more of the same type of story, but this time featuring, instead of not just Thomas the Rhymer, but it also has a little bit of the Robin Hood uh, elements to it as well. So I'm really excited to read that um, with this pretty nice cover. I, I really like this cover. Who did the cover for this one? It's Eric Williams did this cover. So I'm really excited for that. I also have the new release. What's well, kind of new? It's relatively new. It's uh, The Silver Blood Promise by James Logan. This is a fantasy novel just released. Um, I think it was like end of May or early June. I want to say it was end of May that this book came out. And a lot of big booktubers are talking about it and reading it and enjoying it. And I am very excited to get into the book. Um, uh, this was an example of like FOMO. Like I didn't want to miss out on people reading this book. And I want to give new books a chance. This book's out by Tor and it has this gorgeous gorgeous cover. Who did the cover art for this? Uh, Jeff Brown did the cover. Jeff's a, Jeff's a good, good cover artist. Um, but uh, uh, this is a gorgeous cover and uh, proof that trad publishing can produce great covers when they want. So uh, that book is also a fantasy new release that I intend to read. Uh, I'm calling it a new release since it came out this year. All right, let's see what else I have. I have a science fiction book that's really short. It's super short, should read it in like a day, and that's Douglas Adams is Mostly Harmless. This is the his fifth book that he wrote in the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Technically, there's a sixth book um, uh, in this series that was written after uh, Douglas Adams' death uh, by another writer. Um, I've heard that that's not really particularly uh, well-loved. So uh, anyway, but this is the fifth and final one of the ones I own, of, of the ones by Douglas Adams, and I'm really excited because... I actually really enjoyed book four. I thought book four was really good. So I'm hoping that he sticks the landing. Although I'm not holding my breath. All right. Uh, let's see. I do. I, I'm trying to read about one Star Wars uh, expanded universe novel every month to try to finish out that that universe. Uh, and my book this month is going to be The Crystal Star uh, by Vonda and McIntyre. Vonda is a great Star Trek writer. I've not heard good things about her Star Wars book. And so uh, let's just see how it goes. Um, yeah, this will be a very interesting book because the, this, the reviews on Goodreads for this are very interesting. So there's that book. Then uh, let's see. Okay, so I have this novella collection uh, that is the Star Trek Vanguard uh, Declassified Collection. It's the sixth uh, is the sixth, I think, yeah, is the sixth Vanguard book. So I only have two more after this. This is four novellas by the authors. You have Dayton Ward, 
uh, Kevin Dilmore and David Mack, they worked on the novels. And then Marco Palmieri was the editor at Simon & Schuster's Pocket Books for Star Trek at the time. And he wrote one of the novellas in this collection, too. And this is actually, I'm going to, I know it's novellas, so it's a little longer than short stories. But I'm actually going to do this as also part of my uh, YouTube shorts. So I'll do four YouTube shorts based off of this book. And I'm really excited to do that. So there's that one. I also have a John Grisham legal thriller book. I've been trying to do one of these every month or so. And the one this month is The Associate. Uh, nice green cover. Uh, uh, tra- uh, it's that tall rack mass market that I like that really fits my others. Oh, this is my last of the tall racks that I own, so I need to go get some more. Um, anyway, I love John Grisham, one of my favorite authors. Every book of his I'm excited to pick up. And I actually don't know anything going into this book, and I'm not going to know because... I kind of like going into John Grisham's books a little bit, um, a little bit blind. So there's that book. I also have, so I, I just finished up a big, uh, YA series, the, um, the Twilight series. And so I wanted to do another kids related series, YA or middle grade. And, uh, a friend of mine, uh, they, uh, I should say some, some friends of mine, uh, they gave me the entire Fable Haven, the five book series and pa- trade paperback. And so I'm going to read the first book, Fable Haven, um, uh, in, uh, in the month of July. It's about 350 pages. So it's, it's middle grade. It's not exactly YA, but I'm really excited for this series. Because one, they have great cover art. Um, uh, cover des- designed by Jessica Handelman. Um, no, no, the, the art is by Eric Deschamps, Deschamps. Anyway, great cover art on these books. And uh, this will be the next book series for like you know middle grade or YA that I'll read and there's five books in this series so I'm very excited to get into it um let's see what else I have oh so I had uh, a couple months ago the uh author Michael R. Miller send me the first book in his uh Songs of Chaos series Ascendant and uh it's been sitting on my shelves and I've decided you know what I'm gonna finally get to it so this is my self-pub Te- or indie pub because I was we works with monolith books, um, but this is my indie book uh, pub uh, book of the month to read and uh, uh, very excited. I've actually heard good things about this series and uh, he's he has good marketing on online, so I'm excited to read this and read more potentially by Michael R. Miller. Another fantasy. I'm doing a lot of fantasy this month. I think it's because I feel deprived of fantasy. I want to do a lot more. Let's see. I also have. Uh, Terry Brooks's Angel Fire East, the final book in his Word and Void trilogy. Uh, to Terry Brooks, another one of those favorite writers. I'm trying to 100% all his books. And this is the final book in this trilogy. And uh, uh, I'm really excited to read it. I enjoyed the first book a little. Didn't love the second book. It's okay. And uh, we'll see what I think of the third book, Angel Fire East. Uh, hopefully it brings the series back where it needs to go. But I, that's a very different cover than the first two books. Like, man, they went in a different direction. All right, the final book I'm going to read in the month of July is a very is a stark departure from what I normally read, trying to branch out. It is a horror novel by Stephen King. I've been told this is not the one I should start next, but this is the one on my shelves, and I'm going to give it a try. And I want to be fair to Stephen King that, you know, I think I might enjoy this. I've actually watched videos on this book and on the movie as well. So the book I'm going to read next is uh, for horror is It by Stephen King. It's really long in mass market. It's about 1,100 pages uh, with pretty small print, but I've heard that it kind of reads kind of fast and also you know, I'm willing to give new things a try. So we'll see if I enjoy It by Stephen King. I actually kind of like this cover because it has the, it has the, 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 the boat, the paper boat and, and something reaching out of the, the sewer. Anyway, so that's the horror book I'm going to read this month. But those are the 12 books plus the one that I don't have the, the book yet that I'm going to be reading in the month of July. So if you have read any of these books... Let me know what you thought of them. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Are you excited to read any of the new releases that I'm about to read? Let me know those thoughts as well. And um, uh, what is on your TBR for the month of July? I, I, I don't always comment on those, but I always read every comment that I get. So let me know all those thoughts in the comments section down below. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.